video is about puppets. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's about green screen suits. Which is basically a puppet. No, it's not. Puppets! Hey guys, this video is gonna be five cool things you can do with a green screen suit. You may be asking yourself, do I really need one of these? The answer is, if you do a lot of VFX work and green screen work, it might not be a bad tool to have in your kit. A lot of the effects can be done with masking, but there are some effects that are much easier and faster with a green screen suit. It can be a little pricey if you get the actual chroma key suits, but I found this one on Amazon and it's pretty affordable and it works fine for me. I'll put a link below. All of these effects require some thought and you almost always need to get an empty background shot showing only what you want to see through the green screen suit and the lighting requires some planning too because the person in the suit will still cast a shadow and when the green is removed you will get an outline of the shadowed background you might need to move the lights around to control where the shadows fall a lot of these effects will still need some masking work but a lot of the time it's just a rough garbage mask with a lot of feathering so just be prepared to experiment and do some planning on your shots there are a few camera settings you should do also just to make sure it all works as good as it can select a white balance don't set it to auto you want your suit footage and your background footage to match perfectly also, you should manually set the focus and not use autofocus. And set your ISO manually too, so that your brightness doesn't change while you're shooting. Oh yeah, one other very important tip. Make sure that your camera is on a tripod or something solid to where it won't move. On all of these effects, you need your background and your green suit shot to line up and match perfectly. All right, let's take a look at five cool effects you can do with a green screen suit. Number one, removing a body part. You don't necessarily have to have the whole bodysuit for a limb removal scene. Sometimes you can have just the hood or, or sleeves, um, something to cover up what you want to remove. For leg removal, I took a pair of pajama bottoms and altered them to help sell the effect. I tied the ends off and then cut slits below the knot so that my green legs could pass through. It's best to use a hard surface if you're gonna sit down. If you use a couch or something that sinks in, the background that shows through the green legs won't sink in the same and it won't match. Also, be careful about letting the green pass in front of any of the other clothing when you move because the green will cause any clothes it passes in front of to turn invisible. But when you get this figured out, this can work pretty well to make a shot of someone who lost a limb. Number two, ghost-like effects. Okay, there's a lot of options of what you can do with this. You can make a body shape of a lot of different things like a blurry ghost or a distorted ghost using turbulent displays or a heat effect or a color tint or a combination. And one other thing you can do with this is create an outline. I'll show you real quickly how we generated a mask outline around our suit and some things you can do with that. So in After Effects, get your shot with a green screen and put it on top of your blank background. Then duplicate your layer with the suit and hide the second one. Then drag the key light effect into the top layer and use the color picker to select a shade of green that is kind of in the middle, not too dark, not too light. Now change the view to screen matte and open the screen matte dropdown. Change the clip black and clip white adjustments and maybe the screen despot black until you get the suit all black and everything else white. You might have to pre-compose this layer and mask out any other objects that are showing up also. Now, in your main composition, you can open the layer tab at the top and choose auto trace. Make sure time span is set to work area. Under options, set channel to luminance. Turn on blur and set one pixel before auto trace and set tolerance to one. Now click okay and wait for it to do its thing. After it's finished, delete any masks that are not part of the suit outline. Now we're going to add the saber effect. Most of you probably already have it, but if you don't, it's a free plugin from Video Copilot. It's one of the most powerful free VFX plugins out there. I use it all the time. I'll put a link for it below. After you add this effect, go to Customize Core and on Core Type, choose Layer Masks. Then play with the settings and the presets until you get something you like. After that, go to the next layer that we hid earlier and unhide it. 
Set up another good green key with key light or whatever your favorite keyer is. When that's finished, you can go to your background layer and add different blurs or displacements to create interesting looks in the body of your ghost. You can add a tint effect to change the color also. This is where you get to play and come up with some creative stuff, or you can go super simple and just have a line outlining the suit. Remember to get your background footage. Okay, moving on. Number three, floating clothes. This one is going to work best if you can shoot in a green suit on a green screen. That way you won't have to do as much masking. Since the suit creates shadows, if you don't shoot in front of a green screen, you're going to see an outline of the green suit and this is gonna take a lot more masking to clean it up. But if you do shoot on a green screen, then all that's left is the floating clothes. Then you can choose whatever background you want. You won't see any of the clothes behind the green suit, so looking inside the sleeves or neckline, it's gonna look a little weird, unless you do the work of recreating the areas that go invisible. But it's still a pretty cool effect, and if you plan your shots right, you won't see inside the clothes openings very often. Number four, levitating objects. <laughs> This is another one that you'll need to experiment with and try to make sure that there are no shadows being cast behind your green suit. This effect can be for making objects float or move or roll or maybe have a book open on its own or just, there's a lot of possibilities. But again, try to make sure that the suit doesn't pass in front of the objects you're working with. And remember your blank background shot. Number five, puppets! This may be one of the most popular uses for a chroma key suit. Heck yeah it is! It's used in complex applications for big budget movies, but can be used for simple puppet videos easily. Since the puppets are often able to be put on a table or a shelf, the shadow that the puppeteer is casting in the green screen suit isn't as much of a problem. You can usually find a place to put the light so that there are no shadows being cast in the green screen area. So that's our top five cool things you can do with a green screen suit. What other effects can you think of that could be done with one of these suits? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying these videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We put out new content every week. Thanks for watching. Now where's that puppet? Seriously, where is it? Oh, I see him. <laughs>